You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach Lesage. Word. Today we are going to be covering over Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. I've already covered over Shadow Calyrex VMAX. If you haven't got a chance, check that out on the channel. And I mean, I think this version looks really cool. I like Inteleon. I've seen other versions with Chinchino. Um, I'm going to try whatever I possibly can. And if I have to cover both on the channel, that's cool too. That being said, the deck list is in the description below. Check that out. Check out some of the sponsors. I just have some merch. Uh, you can pick up a Zach Lesage playmat from your playmat. So the links are in the description below. While you're at it, give this video a like. It does help boost the algorithm. And subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to 5k subs. We've, we're hitting the one year anniversary on the channel. I'll do something awesome if possible. We'll see exactly how it goes. But um, that being said, I do want to cover this deck list. So let's jump into it and see what we got going on here. So jumping into this deck first, you can see that it's based around Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, one of the new cards from Chilling Rains, and one of the best cards from Chilling Rains. Let's take a moment just to admire the art on this card, it's absolutely beautiful, and the alt arts, while they're hard to get, I think they're totally worth it. Um, it has two attacks, Ride High King, or Ride of the High King, 10 plus 30 for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Most decks require four or five bench Pokemon to work. If your opponent's not uh, benching those Pokemon, you could use Max Lance, 10 plus 120, 120, depending on how many energies you discard from this Pokemon. You might be like, yo, Zach, how are you going to power this up? There's no way to power up two energies really easily. Yeah, you might want to play Frost Moth or something. Why do you not play that in the deck, Zach? You're stupid. I mean, I probably am a little bit dumb, but that's okay. We're here to show you exactly what's up. Uh, we got Melanie, so you could attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V if you do draw three cards. So kind of like a water welder, if you should say. Melanie's uh, absolutely singing the right tune. Bring an Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX up to speed, and you can get those max lights pumping. You can attack with this card very quickly. This card does not have any abilities, which means it works the path to the peak. Pokemon with a rule box in place have no abilities. V, GX, blah, 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 have no abilities. So these aren't rule box Pokemon. You can use Drizzile to search your deck for any trainer card. Inteleon to search your deck for two trainer cards. There is a new Inteleon in this set. I might want to add it into this deck eventually. But the whole goal here is search stuff out with Inteleon and Drizzile. You can use them over and over again with Scoop of Net while your opponent is under path to the peak. Whether you want to play this with Chinchino or not is very much up to you. I think both lines are going to be very similar. You can see this takes up seven cards in your deck. You might be able to go Chinchino and take away six cards in your deck or something like that. It does play the new Sawbow, so you can search out more Rapid Strike Pokemon if you need to. With Scoop Up Net, you have Galarian Zigzagoon to place damage counters. You do have access to Stellar Wish. We do play a Crobat in case you need to get set up before you get Path to the Peak out. It might be worthwhile for this deck to play one Marshadow or so. I'm still trying to figure that out if we want to take away our opponent's Chaotic Swells before we Path to the Peak or anything else like that. There's a few one-ofs and stuff like that because we can search things out. So still working on this deck list a little bit. But I think it's going to be great enough to make a video about it. Just really slow your opponent down with Path to the Peak, search things out with Inteleon, Drizzile, and then hit hard with the Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX. Sounds like a great plan. Let's jump into some gameplay, see exactly what's popping. So we're going to wait for Apple Poke to call the coin flip. I think we want to go first with this deck just so we could evolve things and get that all set up. So let's go ahead, go first, see what we can start with. So we're going to be starting with our one of Crobat, right? That just seems to be how everything has got to work. Um, cool. So they got, uh, let's see what we're playing against. ADP, fun times, fun times, fun times, fun times. We're going to go Jirachi. Let's go ahead and Air Balloon directly into Jirachi. Um, I think that seems like the best play that we possibly can do. We're going to go Level Ball, search out our deck. Grabbing a Sobble, um, we do have the one Drizzile in our hands, we did prize one, we got access to the Calyrax Vs, so we should be okay in this matchup. Maybe if we can get a path to the peak out, that'd be awesome. Let's see what Stellar Wish brings us. And we got another level ball. Um, do I care about level ball or not? Uh, could be okay. Let's go ahead and grab the level ball. So we're going to go level ball, search our deck for another Sobble. Sobble this up, and we can actually attach an energy to these Pokemon. Let's uh, let's get out our Calyrex. Seems like a cool play. 
Let's grab down another Sobble, just in case we got a scoop up net and we're gonna go ahead here and pass. So it should be noted that we do need to grab the water energy from our discard pile. It sucks, I would have liked to get out Path to the Peak so we can stop our opponent from using Zacian if possible. No, I mean, our hand's not bad here. Our opponent's uh, putting it away. Maybe we'll get a better hand. That might be cool. So, I mean, nothing great here. We're running a little bit low on uh, what we'd want to grab, but that's okay. You want to, uh, maybe we're going to grab some kind of way to attack or get some kind of, uh, there's got to be something that we could do. So there's their Zacian. We can start attacking this and then knock it out next turn. I'm cool with that too. What are we going to top deck? We top decked Escape Rope. So we're going to have to go with Stellar Wish first, see what we can get. Now, there is the Marnie. Do we want to go for Marnie? I think we do want to go for Marnie, actually. So I'm going to go ahead here and... There's no point of us really going to the Sobble. I'm going to scoop up net this Jirachi. Put this out. Do this, and I'm going to play down the Jirachi, play the Marnie, and see what we could do. Hopefully we could find something something that could be cool we got quick ball i mean i don't think quick ball is gonna like super help us out right now we're gonna go for path to the peak and let's go for pierce i think pierce sounds pretty cool so we could quick ball away a water energy if we could find some way to get around their path to the peak we have our one copy of crobat v uh, maybe it'd be a great idea to add a mewtwo into this deck again a lot of these lists are early they're just going to drop it with the Chaotic Swell. And I think we're in a bit of a tough spot because they're probably going to go for an Altered Creation GX. We don't really have too much going on beyond our Pierce. And we don't really have a way to get rid of this anyways. So our opponent's probably just going to pitch their hand away. Yep, there's the Dedenne GX. And it's looking a little grim for us. ADP looks like it's going to be a big problem, especially with Echoing Horn in our current formats. And they could just bring up their Crobats, our Crobat and knock it out. So as long as they get off their Altered Creation GX, yeah, and they got the energy off of us, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a difficult matchup for us to just get, like, get out of the way. Um, I'm going to have to use my Path to the Peak to take out their Chaotic Swell. Oh, they're going to Marnie us again. That's not bad. We take those. Um, if we can get a Melanie, Ice Rider, Calyrax, VMAX, and a Water Energy, I feel, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. At least we got access to a Level Ball. So that's not bad. Level Ball can go ahead and grab us. We can grab a Drizzile. Drizzile can go ahead and grab a Melanie. Melanie allows us to draw a card. Uh, yes, we do want to grab this. So go ahead. We're going to get some cards. So the fact that they got a Crushing Hammer off on us means that we can now use Melanie. Melanie powering this up. We're going to go ahead, get some of those cards, and we can go ahead and grab an Evolution Incense now, and we can start getting our attack off. So let's put this back down, put this into play, evolve this one. So as much as we're a little bit behind our opponent, we're not in the worst spot because we can just get, we're still getting the deck set up, so it's still cool for us. Let's go Evolution Incense. And with the Evolution Incense, we're able to go into an Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX. Now, 240 plus 40 is not a knockout. 250 plus 40 is not a knockout. We need to get some Zig Zagoon pings off if we wanted to get the knockout here. Now, sorry, 250 plus 40. So the, we need to get off double Zig Zagoon pings in order to get back into this game. Um, I don't actually know if it's going to be possible at this point. I mean, I guess we could get Zigzagoon, and yeah. So we're going to go ahead and try. We're going to try our very, very best. Let's go ahead, go like this. Let's go Max Lanch, and we're going to go ahead and discard everything. So there's 250 onto our opponent's ADP. We're going to hit them with Zigzagoon and Zigzagoon again. That's going to be the plan here, at the very least, and see exactly what we can get going on. And I mean, they should just be boss. Oh, they're, they're just attacking our active. Now, this is where it gets tough because we are weak to metal type. Um, they should be able to probably just win this game if I ever had any kind of hunch. But let's see what 
we can get going on here. Um, so let's go for Inteleon. I know we have a Drizzile prize at the very least. So yes, let's search our deck for a Quick Ball and a Scoop of Nets. Both of those sound very good. We did get the Melanie as well, so we can get an attack off. So let's go um, Quick Ball away the Reset Stamp. We're going to search our deck for the Zigzagoon. Let's try to draw some prize cards. Let's make this happen. So there's the Knockouts. One prize card, two prize card, three prize cards. Nothing like super crazy going on here. Um, the, I mean, if we get a couple more scoop of nets, we're actually just vibing. Let's go search through here for capacious buckets. We need to go for Melanie. If we got... I mean, I guess we can't get the double scoop of nets. Let's just try to get for the... Like, let's just try to go for the knockouts. Um, get that set up. So let's go Melanie number... Let's go Melanie here. Getting our water energy back. There's a path to the peak. There's another water energy. Can't really get out anything else, so we're just going to go ahead here and hit for Max Lance. Because we don't want to hit for, for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, so that would hit for 70. Yeah, we're going to discard both. Wait, 250? Oh, I'm literally... I'm stupid. I'm literally here thinking that I'm trying... They're just going to concede the game. We take those. I was thinking 220 plus 30. There's no way we knock them out. I'm just sitting here thinking completely over my head, but we take those showing the true power of Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. You can see it's still new to me to play these cards, but we're totally going to take that dub um, and take it all the way to the bank. That was actually sick. Again, still learning a lot about these new cards. Okay, so we got our opponent calling the coin flip here. We won the coin flip, so we learned last game that we want to go first. I mean, sometimes as a content creator, you're making it up as you go. And we are not starting with our Crobat here. So let's go ahead and start with the Ice Rider Calyrax. I mean, I actually really like our start here in this game. Um, we want to make sure that we're not playing Path to the Peak down first. Oh, and we're hitting another ADP deck. Now, I don't want to discard the Drizzile automatically. I kind of like the idea of going... Um, actually, I don't think I want to put the that down so we're gonna go ahead here and actually discard the crowbat hoping our opponent does not play echoing horn first things first we're gonna go out and get a sobble sobble sounds like an absolute uh broken kind of thing for us to get here i like sobble sobble sounds broken let's put this down let's put path to the peak down we are going to be behind on the energy, so it is coming at the cost of our Crobat. We just don't necessarily want to be giving up too many prize cards. This Pokemon is weak to metal, so throwing that out there, that's what we got going on. Let's go ahead here and pass. Our goal is basically hitting our opponent for 40, and then as we saw in last game, we can make the damage happen with the 40 plus 250 plus Galarian Zigzagoon damage. So the fact that we have the whole like Drizzile, Marnie, we got the Path to the Peak, they might not be able to have their Chaotic Spell right away. They might just be like, yo, you want to know what? We're going to pitch a, a, away and go for Dedenne GX. They might be like, yo, why can't we use this stuff? Maybe they're going to be able to power up ASAP. I'm not sure. It's one of those things where Path of the Peak is brand new. Maybe we're going to see a, a split concession. Maybe they're going to get an energy switch and hit us hard. What is going to go on with this hand? Come on. They were like, why can't we use Zacian? Why can't we use Zacian? There's their big charm. Every list is playing big charm now. Um, okay, we're going to go Sobble. We're going to go ahead. Water Energy. We're going to go Drizzile. Um, research also might not be bad in this deck. It's one of those things where I'm still trying to figure out what is the sauce. Um, we're going to go Marnie because Melanie grabs out of the discard pile. 
So let's go ahead, Marnie our opponents. Hopefully they don't have anything uh, amazing in their hand or anything like that. We do have level ball, so we can use that to grab out a Drizzile. We have the scoop up net. So we have everything lined up to get the Oko next turn, I think. Since we played Sobble down this turn, we're just going to go ahead and use Pierce. Yes. Pierce for the 40 damage. Hopefully our opponent decides to go for the Altered and does not knock us out with Zacian. Again, the spooky, the spooky, spooky weakness. I'd like to get another Ice Rider Calyrex down. Uh, oh, they're just passing. We got them with the Path Lock. So we're going to go Level Ball here. So this is where things get really good for us. So we can go Drizzile here. Drizzile here searches out an Inteleon for us. And we're going to go ahead. Yes, we want to grab that. We do want to grab is their Evolution Incense. No! It does not grab that for us. That sucks. Okay, well, we did need Drizzile for something. Our opponent doesn't really have much going on in their hands. Um, so since we can't grab Inteleon out with this, see, just our luck. Just our luck. Um, there is, we can grab Marnie. Marnie allows us to draw cards. Scoop up nets. Uh, yeah, I think we literally need to go. Marnie. We're going to go put Jirachi here. We're going to go ahead and put the Water Energy onto this Pokemon. We're going to go Scoop Up Net on the Drizzile. We still have options to attack, so let's let's try to get there. Our opponent didn't stop, like do too much. Like I'd really liked, like I would have liked to get off a of Melanie there. They're just going to concede because they just know that we're going to get everything set up. Kind of an awkward start, but we take those. So, Ben Toddy's going to call the coin flip. Let's see if we can go first again. That'd be awesome. Our prizing has been a little bit awkward with this deck. So, again, as much as I like the Drizzile line, might want to try out the Chinchino one or just rebuilding this deck a little bit. I think a lot of it's going to come once the tournaments start getting played, like they start playing out and stuff like that. We won the coin flip again. Let's go. Uh, would we like to go first? Yes. So, we decided that's going to be good. Maybe we'll start with Crobat for our, in our hand for like the third time in a row. Are you serious here? Are you actually serious? Uh, so we're going to start with Crobat. Maybe we'll play against ADP for like the third time in a row. Um, they did get a mulligan. It's probably going to be an ADP ladder. This very much looks like we're playing against ADP. Wow. We're going to play ADP three times. I promise you, I've, this is literally my third game with the deck. Um, as you can see by my stellar gameplay. Um, so let's see if we can get something good off this mulligan. It's like, okay. So we're going to go ahead here and go quick ball away a reset stamp for a Calyrax. Calyrax, water energy, path to the peak. And we're going to pass. So our opponent must like our Calyrax VMAX deck. Um, I mean, I think if anyone just sits there, okay, they're just going to go Chaotic Swell immediately. Probably getting out of Zacian. You know, it's always fun times. Switch in. This looks like a very good hand for them. Honestly, the Chaotic Swells is what's really going to hurt this deck. So I'd like to add a Marshadow in there. I'd like to add in a few things. Lots of cool things that I think we could add into this deck. There's their energy. I mean, Intrepid Sword, we could still... Hopefully, if they don't get a couple energies, we might be okay. Path to the Peak. Evolve. We could hit them for some bench damage, so let's go ahead and try to do that. Let's go Marty against our opponents. And let's try to get an energy. Come on, energy, 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 energy. Yeah, we got one, we got one, we got one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and quick ball away our Jirachi. I actually should have quick, quick balled away a water energy. Um, that would have been a lot better for Melanie purposes. And Jirachi could have been a little bit better. So again, live and learn about Melanie um, 
First day playing with Melanie, learning things. Getting water energy in your discard pile sounds really good. Let's go ahead here, go water energy, and let's go for... This attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Let's swing at them for 100, and then we can max lands them next turn. And we took out their Chaotic Swell. A lot of these AD ADP decks are probably only playing one Chaotic Swell. So, I mean, I think it sounds pretty cool. If we could path to the peak them for the rest of the game, they might be in a bit of trouble. Maybe even if they have to struggle to try to get some water energies out here. Hopefully they don't go for, like, Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer, all that stuff. Um, they lost a couple Metal Saucers in that one. So that is a blessing for us. Maybe we're going to take down our third ADP in a row. We are going to shut them off before they use Ultimate Ray. So they'd actually have to go Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer, Energy to knock us out with Zacian V. We want to avoid overbenching just because our opponent can go ahead and if, if we got to avoid overbenching because they can attack with with Ma, with Mawile. So that's something we got to watch out for. There's a water energy. We want to get powered up for a max after max lance. So let's go water energy goes here. Drizzile is going to search out a path to the peak, hoping our opponent doesn't play a lot of chaotic swells. So this is looking pretty good for us right now. That's our last path to the peak in the deck. So we have one in our prize cards. Should note that we are going to draw three prize cards. So let's go Marnie, putting our opponent's hands low. And we're going to even grab another Ice Rider Calyrax V, just in case they somehow knock this out. What, another thing that we learned is that we can max Lance for 250. 250 does go through a big Charmization. I mean, we figured out math as we went along, so let's go ahead here and go max Lance. We only need to do 180, so just making sure that I'm reading their bench properly, 130 is not enough to knock this out because that would bring it to 230. Let's go Max Lance for two. Um, one, two, boom. Knock it on their ADP. No ultimate ray. Kind of uh, kind of a really busted start for us. I like the Sobble there. There's another Melanie. I mean, this. I like our hand a lot. We just need to get another Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, and I think we're vibing. They're at five cards in their hands. I don't think they're going to knock us out. Again, a knockout for them. How much would uh, Mawal be doing? 10, 30, 60, 90, 100, 130, 260, 260, oh, if they get the, they got the Sobble going down. Oh, they can't bring us down with the, with the path to the peak. Let's go. We can even grab a boss's order, knock out their Mawile, or whatever Pokemon seems to threaten us the most. So if they're powering up their Mawile, we could just knock out their Mawile, and now they can't attack us, period, unless they get another Mawile. So, I like this. It seems really cool. So maybe this deck going first against... Oh, they're going to reset stamp us? Come on, give us an Inteleon. I mean, we're just going to take the L on... So right now, I just want to make... <laughs> 10 plus 30 for each of their bench, 100, 130, 260. 260 gets the knock, does not get the knockouts. So let's go max Lance. And we would only hit for 130. So yeah, we're going to go max Lance and discard both. Um, I think we have another Melanie in our discard pile. So that's really what we're going for here. Path to the peak. There's our other Melanie. So knowing what's in your prize cards could actually be huge, especially if you search through your deck, because now we can go Melanie, Water Energy, knock out that Mawile. Now, we do have a Pokemon in our discard pile. I think they can actually use Echoing Horn here. I think that's a really cool card in ADP to knock us out. However, we can go Melanie and power ourselves up here as well. So we're hoping to avoid Marnie, Reset Stamp, um, anything that can change our hands in a bad way. Reset stamp would be pretty rough here for us. But again, they are under path to the peak. Um, we could top an Intelli top deck an Inteleon. So there's their energy switch. It's weird that they're going energy switch. They're playing that under path to the peak. Uh, so you can see that path to the peak is already going to lead to a lot of opponents making mistakes, finding themselves in a tough position. And we're just chilling on Water-type Welder here. So they played a Research. They can't play a Marnie. 
Most ADP decks do not play Reset Stamp at all, so it looks here like they just might not even have it. We might be in a really prime position to just take this game from our opponents. There's another energy. If they just pass, we have game in hands. So we're going to go Melanie. Boom, boom, boom. 254 game. And we just 6 0 in ADP. Um, kind of with an awkward start, but we take those. We'll beat our third ADP in a row. So that's what we got going on for our Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX video. A um, couple of changes that I might want to make to the deck. Marshadow would be great to get around Chaotic Swell. Maybe adding the Inteleon from Chilling Rain so we could snipe our opponent's Pokemon. We saw in that first game, I believe, it was close for us to not knock out the ADP. But the Galarian Zigzagoon did come in clutch. Crobat might not be good. Um, so that's something for us to consider. Um, Chinchino might be better. We might want to have more Evolution Incense. We might want to have Research. Like, this deck is not defined yet. Um, and again, these are early concept builds. So stay tuned on my channel when I do test these decks a little bit more. Refine the builds a little bit uh, a little bit more going into the future. But they're great skeleton lists. Great places to start. And I'm really glad that all of you watched this video up until this point. Thank you so much. I seriously mean that. As a content creator, sometimes it's not always easy for people to accept your content or whatever. You still get some uh, hate messages here and there, but thank you so much everyone for all the support. Supporting the channel means liking the video, subscribing if you haven't already. We are so close to 5,000 subs. It would be great if you could. Um, and I mean, that being said, I gotta edit this video too. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot more on the channel heading into tomorrow. And I mean, I hope that you keep on loving the Chilling Rain uh, stuff. I'm gonna keep on bringing the fire in the format. Have a great one, peace out. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's become a channel member. It's one of those things where I appreciate every single person who watches my videos, and I mean, that's really where it counts, but for the channel members, they've gone out of their way to financially support me, and I truly appreciate that gesture. It's one of those things when I started channel memberships up on my channel, and I, I just didn't know if anyone was ever going to do it, so I truly appreciate everyone taking the plunge, taking a leap of trust and investing in me as a content creator. Truly makes a difference for me each and every month. If you haven't already thought about becoming a channel member, you might wanna to contribute to the channel, and I do put everything back into the channel to make it the best possible place to watch for Pokemon TCG content. Again, I truly appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Cheers. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video, and have yourself a great day. Thanks.